I will also be tweeting this link through hashtag WebClinic on Twitter right now. Let me turn it over to Flint so he can talk about all right, this test. So you've just tuned in. We've got less than 60 minutes. We have 90 slides. You need something that will help you get a result. It's not enough to see a win like this. It's our job to translate that win into transferable principles. There are three keys, I think, that will help us do that. And the first is understanding the purpose of a subject line. If that seems self-explanatory, then that's probably why you might want to listen to what comes next, because it might surprise you. Simply getting the viewer's attention with a subject line will not produce a significant result. We have to understand the functional purpose of a subject line, and it is about converting attention into interest. Now, you can take sort of a look at the way this works in this representation. If we get attention with a subject line, if people see our flashing image, if people see our colorful subject line, or our giant caps, or our superlatives in our words, and they stop with that attention, but that attention doesn't go further, converting or being converted into interest, then the subject line is underperforming. This is essential, and it'll sort of cash in as we start to look at those that were submitted in the original test. Also, while I'm talking to you, please know that all over the world we've been getting submissions. You've been sending your own examples for us to optimize. We're going to optimize them live, on this, uh, on this particular uh, broadcast together as we work through the principles. So we'll get to the principle, we'll get to your version, and then we'll try to see it applied in real life. Let's, uh, let's look at uh, an example of not this. This is from the submission in the case study. Quarterbacks aren't the only changes being tested in Denver. Now, a quarterback, the notion of Denver and the Super Bowl and the implied uh, reference to Tebow might be something that would gather attention, but it doesn't actually galvanize interest and drive them into the copy that follows. In fact, what it does is it has a clarity lapse because the audience, the reader, is left to make meaning, trying to understand what the connection is. Every time you do that, you sacrifice conversion rates. Look at it again. Uh, you'll see another example. Optimization Summit. Three days to a better website. $300 off the coupon inside. Now, there's a temptation captured, captioned with the brackets and the parentheses, but it doesn't convert properly, number one, because it's sort of lost between all of those connections. There's no single thought flow. Meaning can't be made, transferred directly into attention. Take a look at uh, this example. Learn three tips that made 10,000 landing pages extremely successful. This was a winner. Attention converted into interest with the learn three tips. Does your landing page pass this step? One of those rare occasions where an interrogative can help someone. Attention again converted into interest and sort of moving forward. Now that's the simplest point we have to talk about. I have to warn you that each point gets more complex. The third will involve force and calculations and some new thoughts about subject lines that you've probably never heard. But I can't even get there without touching the second. And the second is understanding the connection between your subject line and the value propositions in your messaging. This brings me to a second key principle. To build interest, we must understand the connection between the subject line itself and the value proposition. Now, if you've done training with us in the past, you've probably seen the value propositions.